double decker. That ain't real big. <laughs> This is gonna be my reflection um, or vlog part one. Um, today is like day two of us finally being in Zambia and it's just so beautiful. Like, I don't know if you can see behind me, like this is the Victoria Falls. Um, it's like one of the seven wonders of the world and it's just so crazy just seeing how good God is. Like, this thing is so beautiful. I've never been outside of the United States. I've never been outside like, I'm from Florida. 
and all we got is like beaches and like flat level grounds but with all that aside just seeing how beautiful and how diverse the terrain is here versus like what I'm norm like used to is just so beautiful I'm literally in awe I stumbled across this wild African. <laughs> By the name of Alexis. Wow, very respectful. I love your greeting. Um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? What are you expecting on this trip, Alexis? In English, please. <laughs> <laughs> For my viewers. <laughs> Don't do this. Don't cut that out, right? Sure, totally. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Africa is so beautiful and unique. There's literally rose gold leaves. Wow. You're like trying to get bigger. You're like. <laughs> okay. So, Ruthie, um, what are some expectations that you have for this trip? Some expectations and prayers that I've had the past few months include just knowing the people of Zambia and getting to know their heart and kind of see God move through our team and through what we've been praying for back in the States and see it come to life here in Zambia. What are your expectations? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my expectations, since I've never been on a mission trip before, is to see God in a new perspective instead of like the box I put him in. What expectations do you have, Alexis? <laughs> Going around asking them like what expectations do they have for the trip and like or why they came. Or why I came. Yeah. Um, I came because bro ooh, okay. Well, I came because Bri, Ruthie, and Jonathan wouldn't stop pestering me about it. <laughs> this um, is Bri. We're just the Lord's messengers, okay? So they right, they right. So, yeah, I'm, I am expecting the Lord to move in ways that I have never seen before. Mm. That's on, deep. That's, that's a word. A, that's a word. Mm. <laughs> My question for you, Bri, is um, I'm gonna get a little deep with this one. Why are your eyes so blue? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, out of all the trips that you could have chose to go to, why did you choose this one? Why did I choose this one? Um, Africa is a dream trip. Um, it's something that not everyone gets to go on, but we are blessed to come on. And I thought, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. And if God provides, I will go. And he did. And I'm here in Africa, living the dream, living the dream I've been wanting to since I was a young baby. Thing off now, uh, back to you, um, Charity in the Morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, one, y'all already know who I am. But for real though, the reason why I chose this trip is that because before, about 2016, I used to like try to plan my dream wedding because I didn't know that you know you supposed to let Jesus do his thing and at the time I didn't even have a boyfriend but all I knew was that like for my honeymoon I definitely wanted to come to Africa and then so last year when I went to college um, they had like these mission trips and I was like whoa it'd be cool if I can go to an African mission trip and it just so happened that Zambia was one of the options and I was like how selfish of it would it be if I just go to just go on my honeymoon why not go and serve people why not go and love on people who have never heard about God why not share this like good testimony that I've had and mm -hmm. and how he's like ministered to me through my brokenness so like the first time like I got to meet like my trip leader and I sat down with one of the um, ATL's the assistant trip leaders she told me her testimony about when she went on her like um, I think a trip to the Philippines and I was like yo I want that like it was just such a God moment so I knew for a fact that was supposed to be here. Whoa, didn't see you there. Oh, is that recording me? Wow, so, I mean, my name is Johnny. Uh, this is my vlog. You know, when I was 13, um, I... <laughs> what? That's not the question, Johnny. What's the question? Why did you choose this trip? Why are you the trip leader? What, like, led you to leave this trip? All right, well, good question, Charity. <clears throat> so, I've been on plenty of trips before, um, and this year when I was planning on leading a trip, um, I know that like the, the Zambia trip every single year with Overland is something that um, that students go on since for like the past like eight years, and so um, I decided to go 
um, on the trip there wasn't anyone leading it at the time in the beginning of the fall so I was like I want to go I've heard amazing stories about uh, kind of what's happened in Zambia um, and I kind of want to be a part and bring students along and so um, when I signed up to lead it I, honestly like I don't camp I don't do any of this but I was like you know what I'm just gonna go for it step out of my comfort zone um, and hopefully people will come alongside and kind of hearing the vision of the trip and kind of what we're doing and so nine something like nine months later we're here in Zambia 14 of us um, I'm excited for uh, to see kind of what happens on this trip um, I'm already super expectant um, and excited for what's gonna happen for tuning in to this video if you have made it this far go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions about what I ate what we did while we were there go ahead and drop it down in the comment section below and if you are excited to see some African babies a man who couldn't see be healed a woman who couldn't walk be healed and much more tune in next week Friday for my video of our expedition of why we were there and what happened and also if you want to just be notified when that video is posted go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell or you can follow me on my social media.